There is only 10,000 square kilometer to go of the 120,000 square kilometer search area, and there is still no sign of the wreckage of Malaysia Airlines flight MH370. Malaysia, Australia, and China have agreed to suspend the search if the aircraft is not discovered after the search zone is completely scoured. Transport Minister Tato Sri Lao Tong Lai said that with less than 10,000 square kilometer left to be covered, the search will not continue unless new credible evidence is found. The joint decision was made in a tripartite meeting involving Liao, China's Minister of Transport Yang Chuan Tang, and Australia's Minister for Infrastructure and Transport Darren Chester on Friday. Today, in our tripartite meeting, and in the absence of credible new evidence, Australia, China, and Malaysia have collectively decided to suspend the search upon the completion of the 120,000 square kilometer search area. I must emphasize that this does not mean that we have given up on locating MH370. In the spirit of tripartite, if there are any new credible news or new credible new evidence, we will continue to work together to analyze those evidence. The families and loved ones of the passengers and crew of MH370 remain the priority. We understand that this will be a difficult time for them and are committed to doing everything within our means to exist. The search, which has covered over 110,000 square kilometer in the Indian Ocean, is currently on hold due to bad weather and damage to equipment, but Liao said it was expected to resume in October. MH370 was bound for Beijing, China from Kuala Lumpur. It disappeared on March 8, 2014 and has become world aviation's biggest unsolved mystery. Satellite communication analysis revealed that the plane had diverted its flight path and flew into the southern part of the Indian Ocean. Liao said the investigation team had also updated the meeting on the probe into the debris that was found washed ashore in several places, including La Reunion Island, Mozambique and South Africa. He said four pieces of debris as well as a flaperon have been tested by the Australian Transport Safety Bureau and the French government and were deemed almost certainly from MH370. He added that there were another eight pieces of debris which have yet to be tested. Liao also said the location where the debris were discovered was consistent with the MH370 drift modelling pattern, proving that the 120,000 square kilometre search zone was right. Uh, I would like to say that as of today, all debris found uh, did not actually identify the exact locations of the aircraft. We can only base on the drift modeling pattern that it is from that particular area, the area that we are looking for, the aircraft, the 120,000 square foot area, is the right area. But the debris couldn't tell us the exact locations of the aircraft. When asked on a controlled ditching theory, in which it was suggested that the missing Boeing 777 glided into the water rather than diving into the ocean, Liao replied that at the moment, they do not have evidence to confirm that it was a controlled ditching. Liao also said cost was not a factor in deciding to suspend the search. The transport minister also said all data and information collected from the search would be released to the public.